Hi Gemini and welcome to your January Lenormand and Tarot reading. I'm going to use my Magic Soul Tarot today but I'm going to put this aside just for a few moments because I want to start with the Lenormand cards. Now the Lenormand is a method from France and Germany and therefore mostly known in those countries and as you can hear I'm from Germany so I'm very happy to show you and introduce you now into um, this method from my own country. So let's start with your reading. What's going to fall out here? Harmony, peace. Okay, that sounds good. Harmony and peace shows up in January. And the first card is the moon. Now with opening the reading with the moon, you could have a very emotional month or a month where your emotions play a big role. Um, also the moon talks about being recognized and seen at work or getting appreciation for what you do. What I should say as well is that the Lenormand is a method where you can have a look into every area of life in one reading because you lay out all of the 36 cards. And I can see there's appreciation from the public or a group or a social circle. So we open up this energy now. Mm, you might also feel very emotional about something that is happening in the public. Mm. Let's go deeper into the reading. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, so good. Uh, the lady in the deck is always your card. So you, Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, uh, you are represented by the lady. So just erase that card and put your image in. Mm. And uh, there's another person, uh, which obviously is the person you're dealing with. And this could be, um, again, no matter of the person, of the gender of the on the card, could be, um, I'll show you in a second once the card appears. Does make more sense then. Mm. There's something unclear, some sort of confusion or unclarity when it comes to the place you live, your house, your flat, your family maybe, or something connected to your private life here. And I feel like the thing that is unclear is that you're looking for some sort of solution. You're looking for an answer, a solution connected um, to your house, home, private life or family and it's connected to the other person. Mm -hmm. You might have a family with the other person. Uh, it might connect to simply uh, the energy of house, um, the place you're living in. And in January something about this is going to be a bit unclear. Here we have him, but him could be her. So this person, uh, just erase that image and put the person in that you're dealing with in January. So this could be a partner, a friend, a uh, colleague, a family member, could be a man or a woman. So just delete this image and put the person in that you are dealing with. So let's have a look into your reading. Oh no, hold on, <laughs> we need to do the shuffle and pull the cards from the tarot. So what's the energy for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus in January? The main energy for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Oh, all right. Something hasn't turned out as you thought it would, or there's some sort of emotional challenge that you are um, moving through right now. Gonna go deeper into that in a sec. <laughs> okay, so what's the big, I mean, that is already a challenge, but the next position is usual, what's the biggest challenge? So let's go into that. What is the challenge? What is the challenge? Connected to a decision um, regarding the future, the direction you're gonna move into now, might be lacking a direction or lack, lacking action or planning. What's the advice? What's the advice for Gemini? Oh, voila, wait, whoop. The advice for Gemini. Ah, uh, you need to let go of something, all right. Mm. And where is 
everything leading to how is the month of January going to develop? How is the month of January going to develop? Oop, no, not this card, apparently. How's the month? Uh, okay, that's interesting. So family, home, finances, business is going to play a big role, a big part. Um, could connect to long-term goals. Uh, we might also have the potential of a new beginning here, uh, but I don't feel like you can see that now. Mm, 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 mm. Let me have a little look-see. Oh, there it is. Okay. Okay, I see. I'm going to put this card here and then we're going to dive into your reading. So, all right. Let's continue the story that we just saw here uh, that is somehow connected to the other person as well because that's the house of the other person. I'm going to dive a little bit into explaining how I read the cards for everybody who knows the Lenormand a little bit. I know that you will appreciate it um, as you can then kind of like learn a little bit the steps to interpret a spread like that. Uh, for everybody else, it will sound like gobbledygook, so just put it aside when I talk about houses or mirroring or knighting, which are all uh, methods of using um, the cards or reading the cards. Um, just focus on the messages, please. So, um, yeah, there is some sort of, I, I do feel like in your, there is some sort of strength. I feel like you're very strong. Or maybe you need to be strong um, in January because we have the strength card in your energy, but also connected to the uh, energy of those influences. Maybe there is some sort of unclear influence. It's almost like, okay, I don't know what's influencing this situation, that it is so unclear. Mm, and it has to do with your family, your home, your private life. And I do feel like you are looking for this solution. But at the moment, the solution is kind of like hidden. It's behind you. You can't see it. Also, it is um, in the house of the clouds. So the clouds talk about things that are hidden that you can't see. What well, can you not see the solution? What I can see with this deck is that there's something connected to a child or a new beginning. Now the new beginning, we have that already here. Um, it seems to be relatively far away. So like I said, there might be some sort of new beginning, new stability. May that connect to work, business, finances. May that connect to your home and your private life or anything that gives you stability. But it seems to be like the solution is some sort of new beginning. Mm, I do feel like there is going to be a new beginning. Um, but also in the month of January, I feel like there is more like the conversation, the communication about a new beginning, about the options that you have, which are kind of like clouded by those insecurities or clouded by not really knowing something here. And part of the decision um, or some sort of influence on the decision could be the energy of finances, which are a little bit stuck here. House of finances is a coffin, basically talks about um, there is not really growth in, the, uh, in your finances at the moment. Mm, so, but there are other energies around the um, energy of finances as well. So I'm gonna get there in a second. I just wanna finish off basically what we started here. Um, also, this whole decision thing here obviously is giving you nervousness and stress. So um, we can see that here with the position the decision is in. Nervousness and stress are uh, connected to a decision, to options, to what direction to go, to move into. There is going to be a conversation, a communication that includes in some shape or form either a new beginning or there's some sort of new communication. And then we have the scythe here and the scythe, well, <clears throat> the communication with the scythe could be a little bit painful. So, I mean, something that is like cutting like a knife here. So that's why we get the, the energy of that there might be some sort of conversation that might be painful, uh, might be difficult. On the other hand, um, it could talk about communicating about letting something go, which is interesting because the energy here is you need to let go of something. Um, something that might be connected, A, uh, 
but we do have in the house of the scythe the snake. The snake in general can talk about complications and delays. However, what I sense is for some of you, it might connect to another person. Maybe there is the conversation um, that is connected to a new beginning, to some sort of choices um, where it's about letting go of um, a mother, a woman, a mother, a sister, a friend. Some of you, this might be a rival, though I don't really feel that. But yeah, that's one aspect here. Mm. There might also be something connected to a painful situation, um, connected to a mother or another woman. Uh, that could be the case as well. Or simply you talk about, okay, there are options now. We need to talk about um, what to decide. And maybe this needs to be quick. Maybe something is going to come in quick. Mm. All right, so that's number one. Let's go. What are we going to do next? Um, let's look into your relationship because that's the next card of the major cards that are like really close. Um, there's a very strong influential relationship. Uh, it could be a very old relationship, a very mature relationship. Uh, old in that sense that you know each other maybe from a past life. That could be something. Um, and then we do have the solution here. There's, there's some sort of solution connected to this um, relationship. Mm, there is some sort of information coming in. And this information might lead to new steps forward, which um, means like the whole, it feels like this relationship is moving into more peace, into more harmony. It might come in quite quickly. Some sort of success and happiness might come in quite quickly. <coughs> Mm, it also could mean that something that was painful within the relationship starts to heal, especially with moving into harmony and peace. Here we're moving basically from the painful thing, a sudden thing, moving into happiness and um, uh, healing. Mm, we have well, we have the the energy of the um, relationship connected to destiny. So it's interesting. I feel like I'm repeating myself. So, so there seems to be, and I mean repeating in terms of <clears throat> that all readings so far had a very destined energy in the month of uh, January. So I feel like there's a, a bigger thing going on, like where in different areas of our life, we move into something that's very destined and that energy seems to pop up in the, uh, January. So... <clears throat> If you know about the astrology and you say, oh yeah, it's this aspect or that aspect, please let me know because something seems to be so distant in uh, this uh, in January and that seems to be for most of the signs I've done so far. So a destined successful relationship. This is also success connected to a relationship and a change, a change that might have taken a while now. That's the other energy. The snake doesn't always need to be a... Um, it doesn't always need to be another woman in that sense. It could simply mean that something is winding. It's a road that is winding and you're like, oh my God, there are so many delays in this thing. So, <clears throat> so that is the same thing with taking action, right? Taking action is in the house of winding like left and right and it's not a straight line. And so it seems like something connected to a relationship is not or was not a straight line. So you needed to um, deal with complications, with delays, things that maybe didn't turn out as you hoped or expected they would. So, um, but now I can see that there's a really beautiful change here, even though, I mean, change because we have the sun card here. Um, but at the same time, this change, there's something connected to the to the fear of loss to loss <clears throat> or something that is nagging you and this thing might change or something connected to this thing might change now while at the same time this change is something that is again then a little bit nagging on you 
change, knowledge. There's some sort of knowledge here, some really positive knowledge that you're moving into. Um, we do, like I said, some sort of financial decisions might play a part here as well. So also we see financial changes, maybe because some sort of training, education or course you want to do, which in general, I feel like that could be successful with the sun shining onto it. Sun is the best card of the whole deck. Um, so um, that's a really, really beautiful energy to have next to that relationship. And at the same time, in the house of the relationship, we do see this either the topic of independence or withdrawal, maybe you or the other person um, need some time alone or withdraw. Um, I don't really see it as a separation. <clears throat> and if that is the case, it's just a, a short one. Um, on the other hand, the, the energy of independence might be some sort of lesson here. There's some sort of lesson in being independent in... Um, and that might be kind of like a challenge here as well. But independence, being self-employed or being just like good on your own in some shape or form could play a part here in that relationship. However, the tower is also a nice energy as it says, okay, there might be a long-term relationship, something that is holding up uh, or maybe where you even feel quite protected in or you are quite protective over that relationship. Uh, looking a little bit further now into your, hold on a second, doop, 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 doop. <laughs> looking a little bit further into love, that is, um, those cards are uh, mirrored onto love. There's some sort of knowledge uh, connected to your love life or something that brings you a lot of joy. Um, and this knowledge in some shape or form leads to you be very cautious or having some sort of strategy. I almost feel like there is something, some sort of knowledge where you feel like you want to withdraw into your little tower where you feel safe. <laughs> that's, that's something that I'm getting here because there's something also connected to loss or the fear of loss or something that is nagging on you connected to something that uh, brings you a lot of joy or to, to love. And at the same time, I can see it could be a loss of, loss of, hold on a sec. For some of you, this could connect to the fear of loss of success or the fear of loss of happiness. So while on the one hand, there is something that brings you a lot of joy or that might connect to your love life, maybe you're fearing the happiness or you're fearing the loss of happiness or the loss of success connected to that relationship. And in some shape or form, there's some sort of knowledge that makes you a little bit careful <clears throat> there are deep emotions, uh, deep emotions, deep feelings. We do have the uh, conflict here as well in the house of um, emotions. Um, for some of you, this could be about being recognized and seen because that's something here as well. So there might be some sort of conflict about being recognized and seen in public <clears throat> with something that you love. But there are some sort of complications and delays, something that maybe just took a while for you or it takes a while for you to get recognized and being seen in public but we do have the success energy here as well um, for others obviously this could be something connected to something emotional um, something being announced or being made public and also here, it's for the public thing, especially if this is connected to work, another woman might help for success. Usually this is complications and delays, but obviously it could be mother or friend or colleague, so it's not always a bad energy. So just seeing this um, could also mean that there might be a woman who is helping you becoming successful or clearing something. On the other hand, again, the success in public might just take a while here with something that you love to do, maybe sharing your knowledge here in some shape or form. If this is about love, another woman might trigger the fear of loss for you. Uh, somebody who's connected to the public um, or part of a social circle or group. Some, something is very emotionally here. So it could be a little bit of an emotional up and down because maybe there's somebody who's triggering that. Um, let's have another look into the other person here because it seems like you are a big influence on the other person and the whole 
um, the private life, the family, um, the house, it's something connected to the house, the private life or the family or stable and security. Something is stagnating here. Something is just not moving. And this also seems to be a big influence here. And it's quite interesting because now we have the ship coming in as well. So a journey playing a big part uh, with the other person or for the other person. That's a journey, traveling. Those cards together usually would talk about relocating, but they are not like next to each other, just in one row. Could be a journey to the family that plays a part. But I also feel like something is far something is far away. And this thing that is far away or some sort of traveling or journey seems to be some sort of challenge. I have to say, I feel like you are a little bit mm, more on top of things, like quite literally in the month of January. The other person seems to be quite down and there are quite a lot of challenges connected to a new beginning or a child, connected to something that just doesn't move forward, wanting to move forward, but then there is this, ah, there's this blockage. Mm, again, you playing a big part in this person's life, you and maybe your home, your private life the family playing a big part on onto the other person here and you are connected through communication about long-term plans so it's in some shape or form you and the other person are talking about growth about long-term plans where you're going to move into now so that's something i can see here the other person however is in your house of stability so either you work with that person or this person gives you a lot of stability or there's something connected to work when it comes to the other person that plays a significant part in January. Looking at work, we do see working in public, having a strategy for how to move forward with working in public or with groups taking the steps necessary, have a strategy, have a tactic. Maybe something needs to be shortened or let go of. Um, business finances could come in from afar, from dealing with people who are not at your location. And there might be, <laughs> that's funny here, there might be a change or two cards that really indicate a, cha oh, voila, a change connected to your work life, maybe where you work, maybe in a way what you do taking steps and um and the the conflict here i do see is more like about being recognized and seen in public and maybe even being independent the card here again this is really interesting because the anchor is in the house of the um, sun and the sun means success so what's going to be successful work is going to be successful but there is also a little bit of conflict you now because something is just not going to be straight it's on a straight line <clears throat> looking into the energy of fish a little bit more uh, i said already earlier that there's some sort of challenge when it comes to the finances there might be some sort of financial decisions um we do see here communication uh, maybe for some of you this might even be mm, letting go of a contract letting go of a either a contract is coming in quite suddenly communication suddenly there is a new relation or there is a relationship that is very important um this why the scythe can either talk about something that comes in suddenly or something that is being interrupted this can obviously mean two things now, communication, um, where it's about interrupting or ending some sort of promise or commitment or relationship, or it could be some sort of um, conversation, maybe even being a little bit painful with a, maybe that could be a work colleague or a partner, um, or it's the communication about what do we need to cut away? What do we need to end? There might be something connected to reoccurring finances that are influencing your finances here so the question might be okay what can we cut away in order to make the um our finances grow again and being stable again which this is it's possible we have growth here and also this would be 
are growing strongly. <clears throat> but I feel like more this is since we have a difficult uh, energy in your house of finances and there are financial decisions, I more feel like and this also would explain what you have here happening between you and the other person because it does relate to your finances, communicating about long-term plans and about letting finances grow. Again, something needs to change and there is some sort of change connected to finances, connected to business, connected maybe to where the business is or with who you deal with or connected to people who are, uh, like, um, who are not at the same location where you are. Uh, it feels like something is changing in your business and that obviously has an influence into the finances, but it is a conscious choice. I, I feel like this is nothing where, oh, suddenly this comes in. It's more like, no, this is a choice that you have. Um, let's go a little bit deeper into this. So this might refer to something connected to your private life, but also connected to business where things just didn't turn out as you thought they would. Maybe because of the delays, maybe because of the conflict of being seen and recognized for who you are. This could be also disappointments in relationship playing a big part for you in January. And like I said, the blockage here is to make decisions or it's it's a lack in direction. It's a lack in planning. It's a lack in um, going going ahead and actually doing something, taking the necessary steps, which I do feel here like are going to be very important in a relationship. The advice with the Eight of Cups is maybe something you once thought was for you, maybe it isn't for you. Maybe you need to let go of something, an idea or an idea connected to something emotional. Um, may that be connected to love and relationships or may that connect to your business and finances. In the end, where is it leading towards the long-term security for success? The Ten of Pentacles talks always about a success that is being um, not achieved, but also kept up um, for quite a long time. So you are moving into the energy of either success coming in. It could also be finances getting better now at the end of the month or uh, improving uh, it could be some sort of in inheritance or it uh, could talk about like you are moving now in the energy of abundance and long-term success also your family might be a focus on uh, the uh, the end of the month and I do feel like you are moving in so wow again that's so weird I mean I just had that with I think Taurus you are moving into a new beginning, even though it is not there, but new stability is, um, it's an energy that is presenting itself, but obviously at the bottom of the deck, it's like you're moving into that. Um, something new feels like is on the horizon, a new stability. And that might simply m mean that you're going to feel a little bit more stable and secure within yourself and find your stability and your worth again, um, or a new business, new home or a new job. It is here, maybe not manifested in January, however. All right, Gemini, I hope you resonate with this reading and I hope you like this method from uh, Germany and France and uh, that I could introduce you to something new. Um, if you resonate with the reading, please, as always, leave a like, a comment or subscribe and I'm looking forward to do your next reading. Thank you.